welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video if you saw my last vlog then you will know that we are in the Cotswolds I left it with you in my last vlog where we just kind of arrived at the Cotswolds wildlife gardens safari type place um that's where we are at that's where we are at now we spent the last couple of nights down near sort of Salisbury we did Wiltshire Stonehenge if you saw that vlog firstly thank you for watching and yeah secondly we have made it now to the Cotswolds for the next couple of nights so we will well, I'll show you where we're staying and everything later on but we're going to kick start this vlog we're taking the dog to the see some animals which is crazy i think it's the uk's only dog friendly animal park so yeah it should be fun tom's just on a work school so i'm gonna go grab him now get barney out the back get his lead on and head on in we cannot get over the size of these what are they there must be like a specific name for them. They're huge. Oh, I wonder how old it is. Wow. He's eating grass like you do. Excuse oh, me. What is that, Barney? I don't know if you can see that there. Oh, it's so cute. It's like a tiny deer. And I said, oh, what's that? Tom said, it's here. Look, it's Kurt's big dick. <laughs> <laughs> They're so cute. You like it? Oh, what flavours? I think I prefer the one underneath. Mm. Oh yeah, I prefer the bottom one. It's like, what did you say? Millionaire shortbread. Mm, that's good. Go see the Like they could easily jump out now. Oh, they're so tiny, aren't they? Red panda. A teeny tiny. How big they get? Yeah. <laughs> Very fast. <laughs> Oh, that was lovely. Let's see. Um, oh, open the window for a sec. Our step count. Nice little stroll around. That was. We've done over 10,000 steps today. Anyway, we're going to head over to our hotel. Well, the place that we're staying for the next two nights is part of the Dalesford places, I believe. So we are going to go do sort of Dalesford, Diddley Squat, and do all of that tomorrow. But by the time we get there, we're probably just going to check in, have dinner, chilled on this evening, ready for tomorrow. So yeah, we're staying at a place called the Wild Rabbit. And um, I think our little area is called the Egg Store, which is cute, where they used to store eggs. So let's head on the road. Let's go check in. I'm not sure what's the journey time. Let's have a look. 
nine miles. Oh, that's not too bad. 20 minutes. Perfect. The old road. Straight. Straight. Oh, <laughs> After a quarter of a mile, turn right onto the green. Made a rookie error. Parked in at the Wild Rabbit. We're not staying at the Wild Rabbit. I thought we were. But we're actually staying. Um, our little place that we're staying is Dalesford. No, we are staying at. It's Dalesford Village. I have no idea. It's so the it's same part of the Wild Rabbit, but the cottages isn't part of the rooms here. Yeah. I knew they had their own rooms here, GL56. Right, well, we're gonna go check in. We'll see if we can find nothing. Try and do the space, or zero. 3314, what does that mean? Yeah, that's the code to get you the key. Mm, go a minute. Right. On the road again. Switched over, Tom can drive this part. The tiny little village roads. So here we are, little room tour. We are staying at the egg store, and we have this very cute little kind of seating area here absolutely stunning fire i'm gonna get that lit tonight for sure and then through this way we've got the actual bedroom oh it's honestly the interiors and everything here and it's dual aspect fire as well so we can see that from bed and we've got a little shared courtyard out there and we're actually staying at dalesford it's open at eight in the morning i'm just going to be in my element going there and then look at these little lavender by, by the bed. Love that. And then we've got some Bamford products, of course. And then this is the bathroom. And then I'll show you what they've left for us very kindly. And this is because we've kind of uh, booked on, on like a spring package, but look at the kitchen. Oh, I just love it. They've left us a hamper. So I will delve into that, but firstly, let me just keep showing you around. We've obviously got cutlery, bread bin. We've got some fresh bread for from Dalesford for in the morning from the bakery. A little radio, little cupboard here, kind of a pantry unit with all of our pots and pans that we might need. A little apron, and then we also have under here the fridge and these were in the hamper, but he's taken them out for us so that it's nice and chilled. We've obviously got. Uh, orange juice and milk but yeah the wine and prosecco and then there's butter and eggs so again for the morning we've got our breakfast sorted there i love these cake stands that they do at dalesford lovely love and we've actually got one of these little wine cooler but they use it as a utensils pot love that and then again this is the stuff that i use oh i've not seen the juniper scent before we use rosemary. We've got these as well, again, from the hamper, fresh for breakfast in the morning. Some little jams. We'll probably take some with us that we don't end up opening. Um, some teas and coffees. Oh, a little tray with some biscuits on. We've got the favourite crisps. I love these so much. So we'll snack on these or take them home again, again from the hamper. Little kind of welcome area check-in. These are fresh from the garden, they've said. Um, picked just for us little dog bowl and bed down there which Barney will definitely not fit in so good job we brought our own and then I'll show you what's in the hamper <gasps> let's have a quick sneak peek we have some biscuits Got some milk chocolate golden honeycomb thins a candle this is the bergamot candle I've not had the bergamot one before salted almonds absolutely delightful and of course, the lovely hamper to keep as well. Honestly, it's just such a dreamy location. We need to get one of these like in the Nutsford area. I feel like Dalesford would do so well, especially with little kind of stores like this that you can stay in. It's just gorgeous, love it. Anyway, I think we're gonna go into a local village tonight for a little pub dinner, unload, chill out tonight, and then head straight over the road to Delta Farm first thing in the morning, nice and fresh and early. And the sun has come back out. <sighs> Sunshine. Love it. It's so bright on camera, you can't even tell. I prefer our colour, I think. Do you? Yeah, we're just looking at which colours we prefer. Well, that's the colour we've got. It is a nice green, though, to be yeah. fair. I like either. Away the pain. There's a new day to take away your 
from the sunny Cotswolds this morning. I'm just gonna let Barney out on our, oh, we're bright, on our little courtyard area. Go on then, you can go outside. Um, it's lovely that we've got this little area. We came up first thing this morning to let him out. And we have been to, well, we've been across to, oh, hold on, let me come out of this sun. So we've been uh, across to Dalesford and my goodness, it's just magical. We didn't get a chance to look around last night when we got here. So, well, we could have if we wanted to, but I kind of wanted to save it. I was like, no, we'll go fresh in the morning and it is just dreamy. So we had, I don't know the different names of the different areas of the restaurants and stuff, but we have been over and had like a breakfast even though we had breakfast with the room we thought we could maybe have that as a bit of a brunch lunch in a bit and sit outside and enjoy the sun but this morning we headed over there I've had a good look around I've done one lap of Dalesford so far and there's bound to be over today and tomorrow before we leave another at least three rounds I did get a couple of bags worth of bits so I'll show you those in a second I'll get you set up um, in fact, we'll do that now. Enjoyed a lovely breakfast. I had like a banana and seed nut muffin. Tom had some fresh yogurt granola. Then we're gonna go across to, he's just on a call at the minute. He's got about an hour left on this call. So we're just gonna have a slow morning. He's gonna do that. I'm gonna show you the bits that I got and then do some work on my laptop. I'm gonna go join him again in a second. Just thought I would give Barney a bit of a stretch of his legs outside for now. And then we're going to go head over to Diddley Squat nice and early, hopefully before any crowds <laughs> gather, because I know it can get quite hectic there. Although we are on a Wednesday, so I'm thinking it should be fairly quiet, hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, so we're going to go see, hopefully, Jezza, good old Jeremy Clarkson, who has watched the series because I have and we really enjoy it checking no one's got their doors open so he can't just wander into someone's room because it's like a shared courtyard with the cottages that are here Dales for cottages anyway that's the plan this morning then like i said we're going to get back we're going to have the fresh sourdough and eggs that they left for us yesterday that's going to be our kind of lunch there are some bikes outside so who knows we might jump on a bike and go for a nice countryside walk this afternoon but we've also got a sound bath booked at two o'clock for an hour so that should be interesting that's over at Bamford and then yeah very chilled afternoon I think we're going to book a table in Dalesford tonight for dinner so it's just staying around here today soaking up the Cotswolds visiting like Chipping Norton but otherwise just having a lovely day I love how they've done this behind the sofa in this oops what have I dropped that's the room key behind the sofa in the kind of living space they've got this really rustic reclaimed kind of console that they use as a breakfast bar which i think is a really good idea i'm just going to move those plates across though and sit down and share with you the bits that i the bits that i picked up from the outside this was the first thing that i grabbed i only saw two of these and i know they were quite hard to get hold of online so um, hopefully, fingers crossed, they'll be available now because it is a beautiful book. It's called Nurture and it's one of the, well, it's the book by Carol Bamford and she obviously is, Bamford is Dalesford, Dalesford is Bamford, Bamford is like the spa that we're going to go to later. But yeah, she is all about, here, I'll read the back. I begin every day by taking my dogs for a walk around the farm. The dairy's milking team will already be hard at work and I'll usually see a few heads among the vegetables and as i look around i'm so proud of what i see what began as a desire to feed my family in a better way and to make a small difference to the future of our planet has grown from a collection of empty barns and bare fields to become dalesford and honestly she has done an incredible job it's such a beautiful spot here Ooh. 
there are some lamb outside as well so hopefully we can go and see those in a bit but yeah just a beautiful book that i really wanted to get my hands on so it's 35 pounds and yeah they had two of those left they might have had some more in stock i didn't ask but grabbed that a couple of like kind of pantry bits things i've had before stock ups and just again branding and everything is dreamy with delsford but i picked up some of their crunchy oats granola this is delicious and then i also got these cheddar and parmesan cheese straws these looked yum figs in raw chocolate i know i got a candle in the hamper that they left for us in the room but i really wanted to try as well their new scent that they've got which is herb garden and this smells this is the medium sized candle oh it smells lovely i still think vine tomato is my favorite one oh, but this is beautiful this is great for this time of the year very herby quite citrusy as well actually um but honestly a beautiful beautiful scent had these before these are yum raw apple crisps you can get delsford on um Ocado and where i've done it before i've just ordered off dalesford and they can just deliver i'm assuming nationwide because obviously i can get it up in manchester they do some of my favorite teas so i did stock up i am all out of my peppermint so i picked up another peppermint i have these most mornings especially if i'm not having a coffee and then this one dream time is the chamomile one it's apple chamomile and lavender really nice for before going to bed i might have one of those this evening as well actually and then the uh, spirit one. So I've never had this one before, but it's lemongrass and ginger. So I'm thinking a nice, like any time of the day, nice zesty pick me up. We had these on 30% off because their sell by date is closed. So it's the Parmesan cheese biscuits. These are so yum. Great for a cheese ball, but I feel like we're just gonna snack on those at some point today. I've got an organic pesto i like this honestly just my girl dinner when tom's away just pop some of this with some fresh pasta little bit of grated cheese delicious and this is our favorite this convinced us to move over to mint jelly from mint sauce with a lamb dinner because the mint jelly the sweetness and everything is just oh, it's delicious if you've never tried mint jelly try it so so yum especially the dalesford one still my favorite one uh favorite ever mint jelly anyway last but not least i stocked up on a new glass of mirror cleaner i like to use this for our hob so i get through it quite quickly it smells amazing as well and yeah that is my final item from my little dalesford shopping trip this morning like i said i am probably going to go back around for at least a couple more times so we'll see how we go see if i pick anything else up if i see anything else new that i didn't spot the first time around but as for now, I'm going to head back over to the cafe over at Dalesford and um, take my laptop with me, get a little bit of work done, and then we will be on the road heading over to Diddley Squat Farm. Right, so I've just realised I was going to go and sit and do some work. I haven't even been in the actual main home section yet. I thought that was it. Oh no, there's a big home shop. So who knows, maybe I will be doing a bit more shopping. Let's go have a look. Waking up to my heartbeat, accompanied by the rain. The soreness in my eyes is not very surprising. This room is still uncharted. Oh How did I miss this? Huge homeware shopping section here. Oh, and everything is so beautiful. There's lots of like reclaimed stuff. I mean, look at this butcher's block. Just picture this in our outdoor kitchen garden. How stunning would that be? It is 9,000 pounds. But yeah, I just love that. Cabinetry like this as well, I love. I'm not sure on the blue, but oh, stunning. And that one is 3,950. Oh my God, there's so much to shop here, guys. And there's loads more of the uh, the Carol Bamford books in here. I wonder if I could convince Tom that we need this in our kitchen. <laughs> I love it. I do kind of wish the bluey tone was more like just white, white rustic look. That's the only thing putting me off it. But then again, it is a beautiful color. So, oh, I really like it. And again, they've got like a mini butcher's block here. This one is 
two and a half. What about all we had? Just send me an SOS. I'll run to you faster than lightning. Give me some time to breathe. Give me some time to speak. Cause I know the truth inside. And I promise you this time, no revival. No more strength. We're literally reversing off a road just to see. We just whizzed past this beautiful house. My goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at it. You ready? Boom. Oh Look at the, even the water leading up to it. Oh, that is beautiful. What a house. Cornwell Manor. Entrance house only. Oh, it's so pretty around here there are honestly some gorgeous houses where are you going it's private it says Tom, <laughs> we're trespassing look at all the stables with the horsies so we've just discovered that because obviously mr brave has pulled in and asked you can hire it but they actually live here so you can only hire it from june till october swimming pool and everything one of the ladies said are you getting married <clears throat> prefer to buy the house again <laughs> by the house for sure wouldn't you you right there boom you all right barney boo right off to uh see jeremy oh that's a good looking dog isn't it i'm such a dog magnet anytime i see a dog i'm like doggy oh look it's like a white alsatian no you like the black ones well, no, the ground stopped there, look. There's a walled garden there. This is something else. I don't know. I don't think it is. It's a massive lake. Yeah, maybe it's just... I think that's all the same thing, yeah. Anyway, off to Diddley Squat. We've arrived. just in Chipping Norton. We actually need to get some toothpaste because we ran out. Um, and I said, I think Chipping Norton's meant to be a bit more built up. There's a Sainsbury's. So we're back to civilization. We're saved. We're saved. So, oh, look at all the charging points as well. You, Could have been fine in the Tesla. What do we think of Diddley Squat? We did have a little sausage sandwich, didn't we? Which was nice. Um, very small. There's not really much there. We were there for all of 15 minutes. Yeah. 20 minutes I boycott, yeah. we didn't actually buy anything at the shop because well the bee juice the honey we've got anyway because a friend brought it back for us honest reviews on your channel okay well tom thought it was what underwhelming bang average if that was just a normal shop there would be no one there because it wouldn't get any people there. It, was, it wasn't anything outstanding about it whole novelty is that it was clarkson's farm it's on the tv and i actually think they could have done worse Drink. like that sausage sandwich could have been rubbish well, that was an outside catering company. So they had a nice outside catering company there. Mm. We sat out, enjoyed the sun. There were other doggos there. Oh, moaning mini over there. Do it, do it, do it. But that's my honest review. I thought it was, it's just small. That's my all God. I was there. Can I go over that one a little bit now? I can't be by the side of the car. <laughs> we did spot a couple of antique shops. Yeah. We'll see if we end up going in there. But then we do want to get back and give Barney a proper walk because um, although we've been walking around, I've not really had a chance to probably let him off and have a good run around so we'll do that before the sound bath so that hopefully he will sleep when we do that yeah i'm excited for the sound bath that's in a few hours
I think you can stay in these cottages. This is in Dalesford's. Oh, you obviously can't go down there then. Dalesford Village itself, we're just driving through. I don't know if I can. I was going to say, I don't know if it can be classed as Dalesford Village. It's just Dalesford Cottages. Uh, oops, a bit tight. Breathing. They're cute. If you know, if you had quite a few, if you had your whole family staying. Gorgeous. So they must be built to look like that then, do you no, think? Do you think? You just bought like a collection of cottages and just bought them all. I think it's about time we get Barney running, get him some fresh air. See the countryside whilst the sun is shining as well. Quick eggs. Oh yeah, you want some eggs, don't you? Because that sausage sandwich wasn't quite enough. And we've still got the fresh sourdough, which we can probably won't be as fresh now, but we can toast it, can't we? But they left for us. Yeah, we'll have that now. And then go for a little walk. I'm trying to convince Tom to get a bike with me. But somebody Don't like riding a bike. doesn't know how to ride a bike. <laughs> Where is it? Oh my god, he's getting the birds. <laughs> no, no. Let, let, let's tell him off. No, because there's probably chicks. Barney, leave, leave. No, they're really telling him off. Defo protecting a nest, aren't they? Right, we're going to crack open the eggs. Thank you. Oh my god. I threw the treat over there. Oh, you did that one. And you just jumped right over there. <laughs> Got him in the basket in front of like a tree. Dog in the dells with basket photo. He looks pretty sound to be fair. He's happy. No, 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 he's gonna jump out. <laughs> Tom. Go on then out. Yeah. <laughs> Come this way, Barney. Are you gonna miss us? Well, I like that. You oh, like it? Yeah, I really like it. Where's that from? Um, TK Maxx. It doesn't go with this grey t-shirt, but we're going for a sound bath, so we're being comfy. What is it? It's just like a linen... Mega. Nice, isn't it? Yeah, mega. I literally must have bought this maybe a year ago. Ask me if I've ever worn it. I've ever worn it. But, more out of the fact that I didn't realise I had it. Well, I feel, you know, you sometimes forget you've got things. I do anyway. We give him this little biscuit, and then we're going to head over to a lovely sound bath for an hour. I feel like we could do with just a lie down relaxation and I can't wait to have a look inside that Bamford area. It seems to be like all the products and everything, it just looks gorgeous from afar. We've only ever sort of seen it from the, um, from walking past, so. Oh yeah, one second. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to go do. I'm not sure I'll be able to vlog in there, we'll, we'll see, but I'll let you know how we get on. Ah, <sighs> I've 
feeling very zen after that and actually it has been a couple of hours since we finished or an hour and a half but we've just been chilling in the room i am back doing some editing and we are gonna head over to dinner oh tom's on the phone I'm gonna head over to dinner at six our table's booked had all intentions of like getting dressed up but i think it's fairly casual here to be honest with you and the actual restaurant itself i'm pretty sure it's only open yeah. Yeah. for a couple of hours so i think we're probably more likely to go over have some dinner come back light the fire get into comfies make a puff so yeah i'm not even going to top up my makeup i don't think maybe just a bit more lip gloss take my hair down a bit of dry shampoo and that's probably me good for the evening but yeah we've had a lovely lovely wholesome day today it's honestly just been the best the dreamiest we met a lovely family from thailand that are in they were using our shared courtyard and they were that her daughters were playing with barney which was so cute so we were chatting to them for a while and sat outside in the sun feeling very zen having had a bit of sun and done that sound bath which was lovely by the way um yeah i'm feeling very chill back to reality tomorrow although we're not in any rush to set off i need to check what time checkout is actually let's have a look he's busy on the phone so i'll catch you guys at dinner he thinks he's found friends what is it it's not an animal no it's not an animal <laughs> come on yeah probably like that We've made it to dinner and we're sat in the same spot as we were for breakfast this morning. Love this seating. We were saying if we could maybe do something like this in our garden, kitchen garden, that would be perfect. Oh, the light's gone crazy. Yeah. Anyway, what are we thinking for tonight? I'm kind of thinking maybe tortellini. We've got the pizza menu as well. Barney's at the foot of the bed, getting very snoozy. And then in the oven we have, we bought from the shop just as we were leaving, a sticky toffee pudding, which we've got in there. Just needs a couple more minutes. I couldn't decide between cream, so we've each got our own. Tom's going for double cream, and I love clotter cream, so that is my choice with my sticky toffee. You know it was your chef when you used to have the bar? that got me into sticky toffee with clotter cream. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he would do sticky toffee with clotter cream. Just like a dollop of it and it was delish. I'm saying someone can smell the fish this morning. <laughs> Let's go for some breakfast. We're gonna go through to, this is where we sit, the leg bar. Um, nice and comfy seats. But then you've also got the old spot there, which is like pizzas, pastas. The trough restaurant here, but leg bar is just round to the left and it's nice and comfy. I feel like I'm wearing this jumper on repeat just because it's actually a bit colder than I thought it was going to be. It's been sunny here, but it has been a bit chilly, hasn't it? These last couple of days, windy. Um, and yeah, I've got like a couple of dresses and stuff and it's just too cold for that. But we are here waking up on our final morning at Dalesford and we're gonna head to, well, we're gonna have some breakfast here first. Then we're gonna check out and go via, is it Borton on the Water? I think it's called. Quite a few people have told us it's quite nice to see. So we're gonna do that en route back home. At the moment we've had a lovely time. We've still got a nice morning spent in the Cotswolds before heading back. Say good morning. Say good morning. Hello. <laughs> He's had enough of me. So it's too early for this. Also, such a lovely decaf coffee here. I love that it's tulip season that we've come. Look, you see all the tulips everywhere. They put some fresh ones in our room and they're all over the tables. Look how much they're opening. So, so pretty. 
Just the decor, I keep, I told Tom this morning, I said I keep dreaming whilst we've been here of getting back and like redoing the house. <laughs> <laughs> having a rejig with all the styling and I just want to almost put everything away have a good sort through of that storage room down in the basement get rid of anything that doesn't spark joy anymore and just putting everything out in a home that I love I've got the real motivation to do that now Here we go. off we go to batten on the water Burton on the water, sorry, I keep saying it wrong. I keep saying Burton. Burton on the water. I wanna be a weekend lover. Yeah, I'ma be the best damn lover you got. I wanna mess up your covers. I don't wanna meet your mother. Never ever ask me how I've been. Remember why you have my number. I'm the best thing that has ever happened to you. Here's your time to shine, I'll show me what you can do The way my hands feel on your body The way we're dancing in the dark With every move I make, you're falling The way my lips feel on your body The way we're moving in the dark With every breath we take, you're falling I ain't got no time for romance But baby, I don't want to you are now looking for something steady not ready for that i'm the best thing that has ever happened to you here's your time to shout out show me what you can do make a move we're having a lovely stroll we just kind of joined a public footpath off one of the main roads oh tom just careful it's the main road here uh so yeah we're just enjoying a little mooch and then we're going to go back to the kind of like town centre part and have some lunch before we set off. But yeah, the sun has come out and it's absolutely stunning. And that is us done at Boston on the Water. We did pop in to the all year round Christmas shop. I think it was called, what was it? I got a little decoration. This is for my novelty tree at Christmas. The Victorian Christmas shop. And then I thought, well, it's not really, it doesn't say anything about Cotswolds. So I thought I'd pick up this as well. This is like, I just, proper novelty bauble, but. I had to, it just says, the Cotswolds 2024. We've just had a lovely, uh, well, just while sat out in the um, sunshine, haven't we? It's honestly stunning weather today. Beautiful, so we're gonna get on the road, get back home, and then um, start editing this vlog for you guys this afternoon. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. You want to say bye? Our little road trip. Barney's in the back there. Thankfully, he's now dry, having sat out in the sun after been sw being swimming in the water. It's really shallow, so they were saying during the summer quite often people will just go and walk through the water as well. But it was more paddling than swimming, wasn't it? Paddling, and it's all yeah. He wasn't swimming at all, and it's also um, got a lot busier now. So I would say come in the morning if you can. Uh, but yeah, onwards, journey home now, and. Thank you for watching, thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more and I will hope to see you all again in my next video. Bye guys!